Uh, this is today's. It's a Manitowic cooler. And made by Manitowic. And the compressor's gone bad in it. It's I cleaned the condenser off, but I'm going to clean it some more. Um, and here's the compressor. And it's a little capillary tube system. So I'm going to put some SUPCO in it because of all the years of heat. Uh, the oil degrades and you build up waxes inside of it. And this SUPCO will, will keep the waxes from, um, you know, adhering inside this. It'll keep the little capillary tube open. And it's a 134A system. I change the dryer filter. They, uh, this particular box, they mounted it. Right, they didn't have <laughs> this condensing unit doesn't have a base to it. In other words, like they always do. This company to save money, they mounted the compressor directly to the deck, and the same with the condenser. But I'm going to be taking this fan guard off because we don't have pigeons in here, and uh, that was. But uh, that's what we're doing. It's a Tecumseh compressor. It's an AEA4448YXA134. And this looks like it was a 96. And it's got polyester oil in it already, so that's good. Okay, that's, I gotta get start removing the compressor. Compressor is 19 years old. It's got a lot of miles out of it. It's pretty good. 96, 106, 116, yeah, 19 years. Especially in a hot kitchen like this. A little Tecumseh compressor. Gotta hand it to them. Kind of starting to like Tecumseh again. Haven't seen they kind of Emerson took over Copeland and they kind of um, pushed Tecumseh out of the market a little bit. Well, it's kind of got a hand at the Tecumseh that are hanging in there. Making good products too. I don't know. I have, I have a suspicion that, that Copeland is making their products, you know, as economically as possible, so that they can make as much money as possible and not have a unit last 19 years like this one. So they there's a turnover so they, for the industry. So. Hopefully Tecumseh's not doing that. Hopefully this new compressor will last a long time.
charge line. What they, what they did on this is the discharge line comes up here, goes into the top of the condenser. They branched off it over here and they went down to a gauge port out in the front of the machine so you don't have to pull the machine out every time you work on it. It's kind of a nice uh, extra step that they did. You kind of, especially when you're a service person, you tend to appreciate those little uh, things. they did on this what they did on this is they put um, they put this cardboard so that the air had to come in from the front and go out to the back the problem here is it's getting the hot um, kitchen air as to keep it from recirculating it's a positive displacement but I have a window here and it's vented and I have air coming in and the air is coming in and going up the exhaust hood so I'm seriously thinking about spinning this equipment around and putting the condenser in the back here or maybe in the sideways so that the air will come in and exhaust that way I might do that re-engineer it that's always fun my drill a lot. This is a uh, one of the, my favorite tools. It's Bosch drill. It's got a lot of torque on it. And what I do is these just pop in and out. Like that. And what I do is I just keep these in my with my pens, so whenever I need one, I don't have to go looking for it. It's right there. Okay, let's. Okay, 
places to eat, to come so way of doing things. Please. Morning. Morning. These little electrical boxes, they don't have enough room for any wiring. Sometimes you just get the, with the wires you put in there, you can't get the cover back on, so leave it left off. Okay, my power's all off. That's good. It's always good to double check everything. Okay, what I want to do is I want to uh, keep track of where my wires went. So, just draw a little picture here. ceiling this high. I had like 
two and a half inches to get this thing off. It didn't work. I can't see through it. I can't see light through it, and that means that it's got this gum. It's all there's a sticky gum on everything from the dust for over the years. So what I'm gonna do is wash it out good. the sink and put it in the sink. Now, I just recently saw a video by, I think it was Rasta Kicker. He changed the compressor and he took his condenser off and took it over to the sink and cleaned it out in the sink. <laughs> and while I was watching that video, I said, I would, I would never do that. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> so. In this instance, it's a great idea. So, thank you, Rasta. If this is good and clean, it'll be good for another 20 years. Fan out of the way. Very good. And our condenser, we got this rubber gap thing on here. What's important is when I take it to the sink, I don't want to get water in the system. So I am going to seriously seal this up.
liquid to go down in between the fins. 